In this video, I wanna go over the four components of a winning radio campaign. I get calls all the time. In this hyper-competitive market of real estate that we're all in, we're all vying to get the attention of prospects and keep it. Now, there is no other medium like radio that you can, one, get massive reach, two, get instant credibility, and three, reach the right targeted demographic. Now, four components. Now, the first component may seem obvious, but it is you have to talk to the right demographic, which means that you have to be on the right station. Okay, so that seems basic, but here's what we do in order to find you the right fit. We take a market, we look at all the stations, and we rank the stations for three things. One, the right demographic. Now, the demographic that we target, we target men, 35 to 54, 75K plus income, and own a home. First thing we do, we run it. The next thing we do is we'll run and rank each station for home ownership. Now, this is important because many times when we run the first ranker for demographics, a sports station will come up number one, two, or three. Now, as soon as we re-rank it for home ownership, more often than not, 70% plus, what we'll find is that station will drop from number two to number 12, 18, 21. Now, the third way that we'll rank these stations is by income. Now, ideally, we wanna see one station pop up, one, one, one in all those, those categories. Now, very rarely does that happen. We have a matrix that we'll take the data that we get, we mix and match it, and we'll come up with our top three or four targets. That is number one. You have to be on the right station talking with the right demographic. Number two, now that we have our shortlisted four stations, number two, uh, we will get in and look for placement. We'll negotiate for placement. Now, why placement is so important is because in radio, Every station has a different number of breaks per hour. Four breaks, six breaks, eight breaks. Now, the fewer the breaks, the longer the breaks. They can be four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, 12 minutes. Now, in radio, each, each commercial is called a unit, okay? So, some breaks will be a unit of 14. Now, as a civilian, if you go and try to buy radio yourself and you don't know how to get the right placement, and what we're shooting for is to be unit one, if you don't know how to do that, very often times, the stations will sell you unit seven in a 14 minute break. Now let me tell you, if you are unit seven or at minute two of a four minute break, at minute four of an eight minute break, forget it, you're done, you're toast. Nobody's listened to you. They've even literally, physically tuned out of the station or mentally tuned out. So, the right station, the right placement. Now, one of the things that we do to make your spots super effective is, we hire the right talent to read your spot, okay? Now, you can go and try to read your spot, but nobody knows who you are. We, we don't do celebrity endorsements. There's a lot of reasons that we don't. I'll get into them a little bit later if you stick around. What we do is we wanna find the right host that has an affinity with his or her audience. So one of the, this goes into station selection. We look at the hosts and we ask ourselves, we look at the data and say, how long has that host been on that station on that day part? The longer the better, right? Two years is worse than 10 years. The longer that they've been there, the audience knows, likes, and trusts them. Okay, so that's two, right station, right placement. And, and, and I guess 2A or the third subcomponent is the right endorser. Now the third piece, which again may seem self-evident, is cost. Now let me tell you something, radio cost is all over the map. I get emails, calls all the time, and people go, Toby, how much is radio? Put together something, I'm like, it's not like that. Uh, let me illustrate. Now these are real markets where we have real clients. Palm Beach, Prime Station, Prime Day Part, we can buy spots for 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a 60 second spot. Uh, you go to Cocoa Beach, it's 50 bucks. You go to Orlando, it's 150 bucks. You get into Denver, it's 350. Chicago, 550. Dallas, 1,000. DC, 1,400. So from 20 to 1,400 bucks. In fact, there's a, there's a station here in Southern California, uh, KFI, that is $1,700 for a 60 second spot. Now, I can tell you this. A lot of people will go to their local station, again, a civilian not knowing how to buy real estate, uh, radio, and they'll, the station will say, oh, your spot's 
10 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever. Now, there's lots of games that stations play with that. They'll give you a blended rate. Again, I, I, this, that is outside of the scope of this video. But I will tell you that we don't care. I don't care whether I'm paying $10 or $1,000. Because I, you can be paying $10 and be paying too much, be paying $1,000 and getting a screaming deal. Now, what we optimize for is in radio. Radio media is called CPP. Now, if you buy internet media, it's called CPM cost per mill. And what that is, is the cost you are paying to reach 1,000 people. Same thing in radio, although it's called cost per point. Now, that's one thing I can't share with you on the video. That's part of our secret sauce. But there's a very specific threshold for cost per point that we look for and we negotiate for. If we cannot get you within that threshold, we won't buy it. And we know that the lower we are in that threshold, the better return you're going to get. Now that's the first three, and there's and even though I've gone over them quickly, there's a lot there. Now the last component is copy. Okay, so we have station placement cost copy. Now you can't radio is a direct response medium, which means you have to write copy with an offer compelling enough for people to pick up the phone and want to call you. Now. A good example of this is what you see on late night television, right? It slices, it dices, no, it's not $40. Right now, it's $20, but wait, there's more. Now, radio, you can do something similar. It's not as cheesy or shady as that. And a lot of times what we do, it's a guarantee. Now, if you've watched radio and top producers around the country, what you'll find is that number one, those folks doing radio are commonly doing 300, 500, 700 deals. But two, they're all doing the same USP or very similar. Now it is, I will guaranteed sale or I'll buy your house. Now that's, everybody knows if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. We, we do a variety of guarantees. Um, uh, some of them may be just your home sold guaranteed. Your home sold in 30 days or your home sold in 30 days or we pay you. There's, there's, there's a ton of them, but they all or around a guarantee. Now, those are the four components. And I'll tell you something, you are armed and dangerous enough to go do and try radio on your own if you like. But I can tell you that there's no reason for you to even try that. One thing that people don't know is how agencies like our agency, Real Estate Radio Expert, is compensated. We are, con there's how we're paid. You fundamentally, it doesn't cost you anything fundamentally to work with us. We charge a nominal fee. Um, how, the bulk of how we're paid is when we take one of our clients to a station, the station treats us as a buyer's agent. So we get paid a commission for working with you. So um, there is no reason and it's to, to not work with an agency. Um, if you think you're ready for radio, and I'll tell you, radio is not for everybody. You have to have the right systems in place. You have to be ready to double your business. If you think you have the systems and process and team in place, Fill out the getting started sheet. Would love to see if you're a good fit.